In this video, we'll talk about why people fail to reach their goals. When people set up goals and fail to achieve them, there remains a known gap between what the strategy says should be done and what actually gets done. This is known as the execution gap and represents a scenario that's often caused by some very typical shortcomings. On the personal front, these shortcomings stop you from achieving your individual goals, while in the business world, the same can happen as a result of leadership flaws. Collectively, both scenarios present a want of clarity as well as action and fail when there are no metrics to measure success. But in order for execution to be successful, certain fundamental elements, as mentioned previously, need to be in place. While some of you pursue diligently, others you need to avoid doing as they only widen the execution gap instead of bridging it. But when this doesn't happen, then you need to stop doing the following to bridge the execution gap. Stop making excuses. Excuses are easier to come up with than reasons for not doing something. They can vary from not having enough time to the economy being bad or the competition's too high. In any case, excuses paralyze you and stop you from executing anything at all. Most excuses come up when you feel fearful, anxious, uncertain, or just plain lazy. At these times, it's easier and safer not doing anything at all than tackling the goal you've set up for yourself. It makes you abandon your goal before you even start pursuing it. Excuses also make you stop working for your goal. You may well keep saying that you want to achieve a goal, but if you're not doing anything about it, then how can you hope to achieve anything? The basic understanding of the strategy to execution process is that action precedes results. If you want results, you must take action first. Give your goal some meaning. To bridge the execution gap, it's very important that your goal means something to you. Now, this may start to sound redundant as the same has been mentioned elsewhere in the book as well, but because it's so important in the process of achieving a goal, it needs to be emphasized once again. If you set a goal for the wrong reason and chase after something you don't really need, you will not be driven to achieve it and the execution gap will never be bridged. So set yourself up for something that will have meaning for you. Setting the wrong goal also takes motivation out of the execution equation. To make anything motivating, be it weight loss, expanding your social circle, setting a startup business, or expanding your clientele, you need to associate strong reasons to why you want to achieve something. These reasons will then become the driving force that fuel your motivation. Another consideration in this regard is commitment versus convenience. With the right goal, you are highly likely to be 100% committed, whereas anyone who isn't committed will opt out for convenience instead. Say you have a scheduled gym session every week with a buddy who also gives you a ride there. Now, if you're committed to getting into better shape, building strength, or just improving your overall health, you'll attend that session every time no matter what. But if you find out that your gym buddy won't be attending this week, so maybe you decide to skip the session as well. Here, you've opted for convenience instead. Since your friend won't be there to take you along, you find that it's too much work to get to the gym by bus and then back home. At this point, you just give yourself a little reminder that the goal is to get yourself in better shape no matter what. Set the bar for commitment higher so that it's not easy to back off. Stop trying your hand at everything. This ties into setting your priorities straight and focusing on one goal at a time. When you divide your attention, energy, and focus into too many parts, you fail to hone your expertise and skills where they could flourish the most. If you want to execute your strategy successfully, you need to know your strengths. You need to know what you are good at, passionate about, and most driven to do. Investing in the wrong goal will only stop you midway with never being able to bridge the execution gap. Think of examples of highly successful individuals who excel at what they do. Take your pick from your favorite athlete, celebrity, scientist, inventor, or just about any other category, and you will see that these people succeeded because they focused on their strengths and mastered their crafts. Lacking a plan and commitment. When you fail to plan, you also plan to fail. A good plan is integral to achieving goals and bridging the execution gap as it gives you direction and helps you stay on track. Not having a plan will have you running amok. And without a plan, 
there can be no commitment. How many times have you started a diet on Monday and then given it up the very next day because your coworker brought in a box of donuts to work? You didn't want to offend her, so you thought that you'd just start over the next day. Commitment is key to execution, and without any, you will keep getting derailed from pursuing your goals. Not having a deadline. As you've seen previously, working within a time frame establishes a sense of urgency and focus. This alone should be enough to get anyone going towards their goal. But if you do not give yourself a deadline and keep things open-ended, then you are setting yourself up for failure. Open-ended scenarios are an easy road to procrastination and pushing things to the back burner. Giving up halfway. Of course, if you give up when the going gets tough, you won't be reaching that goal. We all live in a world that seeks out instant gratification, and when perseverance doesn't deliver, quitting is viewed as an acceptable option. Too often, people are seen jumping from one job to another, or if they try a business and do not see results, they change their field and venture into a new one. In one way, this indicates the inability to handle failure. In another, it shows the lack of proper goal setting. Often people may fail to reach their goals because they do not know how to handle failure. They choose to either give up or change their goals when they face problems that do not get quick results. Another consideration that factors into giving up is distraction. After setting up a goal, you may get distracted as other things come along, making you neglect or even forget about your initial goal. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.